Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning. And if you are new here, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help me out a bunch. And yes, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Today is unboxing day for the June box. Um, naturally, I have to explain a little bit before we start to unbox because there are a lot of people finding this subscription and it's they're new and it's a lot to unpack. It was a lot for me to mentally unpack. So this is a Patreon subscription box and so I have to follow the rules of Patreon and it's very different than your usual subscription box. You pay for a full month and that content is available, available excuse me, is available to you on your payment date. So the way that my payments uh, are set up is that it comes out the day that you paid. So if you pay for this subscription box on the 8th, that is your payment date moving forward. But I start dropping this box on the 25th. So if you were to receive your box on the 25th and your payment is until, isn't until the 8th, that's where the problem came in <laughs> because then it's like you're getting your box and it's almost for free. You could easily cancel and still have access to that box. Um, and so I had to find a way around it. So basically what I'm doing is I am delivering these boxes out as your payment goes out. So as soon as you see your payment leave, I will each day in the morning go through the list and send out your boxes. So if you're a 25th payment person, you don't have to worry about anything. Your stuff's gonna come out. As long as your payment's before the first, I feel like, Oh my goodness, I'm sorry you guys, it's my son's game. If As long as your payment is before the first of the month, I feel like you will be happy because you'd be getting your boxes before, I'm sorry, oh my gosh. You would be getting your boxes before the, um, the new month. So just keep that in mind. The only way that you can change your payment date is basically by canceling and re-signing up on the day that you want to be paid, uh, you want your payment to come out. So I believe that's what you have to do. That's what I've been told. I can't really see it because I'm not a patron. Um, so just kind of look into that. But yes, your box will go to you on the day of your payment. And even though I'm saying this, I know there's still going to be messages coming in. I didn't get my box. Please hear me. Please hear me. If you hear nothing else I say in this video, when your payment goes out is the day your box will go out. Okay, now that that is covered, this box will also leave the Patreon on the 8th. This is so that payments don't overlap into that next window of when a new box is going to come in. So you're not getting two boxes for free. The 8th is a good amount of time for you to decide whether or not you want the box and still be able to benefit from the goodies that are in the box. I feel like if you pay after that, there's really no sense in you getting it because the month is already well in and you might as well just wait for that next box. Um, so I think that covers everything. Let me see, your payment, it leaves on the 8th. Yeah, that should cover everything. If you have any questions at all, please check the in description box below. I have a new email for you all to reach out to me so that you can get help. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and cover all of that because I get a lot of questions and I know it's confusing, but I just wanted to reiterate that information. Now, this is the PDF that you will receive from me via your patron inbox, and it is the product sheet. So don't just look at this and be like, okay, but where's the stuff? It says here, click the box, and please make sure you are in reading mode if your app requires it in order for you to press it. So we're in Samsung Notes, we're in reading mode, so we're gonna click on the top box, and now we are taken into June's Dropbox, which I am so excited. As you see, I went for a sea, beachy kind of theme. This box also has a special touch of biblical influence because this box is inspired by Mary Magdalene. So every few months or so, I'm going to pick a biblical figure. It won't always be a woman, but a biblical figure to wrap the box's theme around. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. I was thinking of her, what she represents in scripture, how faithful she was to Jesus when I made this box, and it just took on a life of its own. So the, the first thing we normally do whenever we do these unboxings is go look at the stickers because the sticker book is just like one of the coolest things, right? <laughs> so let's go look at the sticker book. And I'm going to, 
Um, this was a sneak peek, so that's okay. You guys have seen that sneak peek if you're in the group. Um, I think I can kind of stay in this. No, we're going to go ahead and do what we usually do. We're going to go into this mode. Okay. So I think we can see. Let me see. It's a little long. Yeah, that's fine. So this is the sticker book for the month of June, and I'm really excited about it. It's very gorgeous. It's a little different than the sticker books I usually do. I wanted to try something different. I was getting kind of tired of just having that skinny um, sticker book, so I wanted to go for, like I said, something a little bit different. Um, and so I went with this, shrink that down. And when you click the label, you're gonna get taken into the information page. This page has your hex codes. Don't you fret, the font links will be sent to you. I just didn't wanna put them in here this time um, because I needed to put this here. This is basically everything I explained in the beginning of the video in case it, it confused you. It is in the sticker book for you to just kind of run through again. Um, and like I said, hex codes and navigation instructions are here. So that's that. When you click the, t uh, the second tab at the top, the first tab will take you to the information page. The second tab is going to take you into the actual sticker book. And like usual formulation, we have our mini months here. And I went for a very cool blue. I am just in love with the way that this looks. Oops, I'm trying to make sure I'm in, there we go. I went for a very cool blue look because that's just what Mary represents to me. She has scars, right? She's got things that she's done in her past but her unwavering faith to Jesus is just so gentle and loving and very faithful. And I just, I love that. And so I wanted to kind of keep that in mind when making the mini calendars this month. They're very soft, very feminine, and just uh, absolutely stunning. These are the fonts. So we have June and font one, as well as the days of the week, and then June and font two, as well as the days of the week which both of these were beach style fonts, according to the creators, and I feel like it is, so I went with it. You have your color dots down here, and then of course you have your date dots. I did choose a, I believe these are supposed to be those like, I don't know what kind of plant it is, but they grow by the ocean. It's inside of a pot, which I think is absolutely adorable. And then you have these gorgeous seashell clusters as well as a star and some like seaweed in the back or kelp. I don't know what it's called y'all, but um, it's in the back with the date dots on it and it's super cute. And of course this is Father's Day month. So I put two styles of Father's Day stickers in here for you to use so that you could have that for your calendar view. Also to close the book, you will see this little paper clip up here that will take you to the front cover no matter where you are inside of the sticker book. Excuse my nails, y'all. I have got to cut them. They're driving me nuts. All right. So the second page is decor, which I absolutely love this page. And the reason why is because I pulled inspiration from an older sticker kit that was extremely popular in my shop in the beginning, which were the Bible journaling stickers. And so some of these take on that same inspiration, that, stay, that same look, where it's a cluster of elements and a nice wash of watercolor in the background. These are perfect for making a statement on a page, putting in a memo, it'll work or function kind of like a post-it, but at the same time, it's still decorative, which is really nice. And I mean, you can't go wrong with these elements. They are absolutely beautiful. I arranged some in bunches. So we have some sea kelp layered off in the back with a cluster of flower on the top. But then there were some pieces where I felt like solo was best for them. Um, so I left some all on their own and just you know, did my little PGL touch to it. Um, we're gonna swipe now because I can't remember which tab I was on. <laughs> that happens a lot more than you guys even know. Anyways, now we have our ladies. And so obviously with this being themed about around Mary Magdalene, I wanted to include the ladies in this kit. Normally I will avoid putting women in my sticker kits unless it's Lena or Bina. But with this being themed around her, I felt it appropriate. And I like that the artist gave multiple variations. So I wanted to play along with what she had done with them. And so I took the frame and I placed them seated just gently. It almost feels like she's waiting on Jesus. And I loved that portion. And you have such a beautiful green color splotch back here. You can put lists, you can put a verse, you can put a prayer and it just suits because it looks like she's praying. It looks like she's just elegantly waiting, which I love the femininity of these stickers. I cannot get over it. 
And then you have this gorgeous sticker cluster here, which is just absolutely beautiful. A great statement for a quarter piece. You've got different variations of this lady here as well, and it just looks chef's kiss. Very pretty in person. Now we have moved on to <laughs> one of the busier pages of this sticker book which are your Polaroids and your washi tapes and your transparent squares. I know my ladies love all of these elements. I love them. They're great ways to decorate when you're feeling more minimalistic, but you want something on the page and you don't feel like messing around with stickers, then a picture frame is a great way to go. Of course, I had to go with the beach theme. It is just fun, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, bright. There's so many different colors you can pull from here so you don't feel as limited. I try to pair off the coloring with the actual frame of the stickers so that it would feel cohesive. And of course the washi tapes go really nicely. And what I mean by that is like you see this where you have these different sea anemones and all that stuff here in different colors. This would go very nicely with something like this because it's gonna pull from those types of colors. So I thought that was really fun and just it'll give you some cool ways to play with color on your spread. We have some realistic washi tapes and then some more flat style washi tapes. And then of course your transparent squares which you can do a bunch of different things with these. They are so pretty um, and just really nice pieces for a calendar view if you have nothing going on that day or it's that weird thing that happens in the beginning of the month where say the first of the month is on a Thursday and then you have all that rest where it's just like no one there. You can put the little uh, clear blocks there so of course I had to include those. And we're going to swipe. Of course we have our boxes so I mean, you know, need I say any more? They are super cute. You can do birthdays with these. You can do all sorts of things really, but I like to have them there to mark when the subscription box needs to be started, when payments are due for the subscription box would be a good idea for you on your calendar. Of course, we have our coffee cups. These are absolutely adorable. They have the word coffee on them, but they're just super, just summery and fun and bright and colorful and just cute ways to kind of mark your morning routine on your calendar or if you have a coffee date or whatever the case may be. Do people do that anymore? Do people have coffee dates? Anyways, so these are cute little oven mitts. I couldn't resist. Um, you could do like baking day or if you're cooking or you're having some kind of meal situation go on, then that would be a cute, realistic icon to use. We've got some postage stamps with the patterns inside of there. You can use your imagination and do whatever you want with these. These would be great layering pieces for pictures, especially since it has the brim on it. You could even tilt and layer these on top of each other and put a picture on top of it. Have fun. It's almost scrapbooky. And this is also me kind of playing around with this style of sticker because I do intend to drop some PGL bullet journals very soon. So yes, this is, this is, in preparation for some of that because it will be out in June. Um, oh my goodness, these rips I had gotten rid of for a while, but they're inside of the PGL stuff, PGL, well, PGL style sticker kits. And I love them so much, I don't know why I got rid of them. These are perfect for a full side view. Like if you really feel lazy, throw this on the side of your, your spread and then just write. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just very pretty. It's a great way to have and incorporate the pattern into your view without having to do a lot of work. And it's just really nice. It's a convenient sticker to have. Now we have some more decor stickers. I wanted to include a lot of the decor pieces because I really appreciate this artist's work. And I wanted to basically mm, create scenes with it on this page. And so first we have some wonderful words for Jesus, love, hope, and faith up here at the top. And then we have some more of our female lady clusters here. I put her on a shell. You can do so many things with this. You can use this as a reminder, a memo sticker. You can also create a scene for yourself with these. I also have her in a, like a field or a valley, just closing her eyes. This would be a great way for you to play around with writing prayer on your spreads or things like that. So just have fun with it. Um, some more of those clusters that I love that would be great to put inside of your digital uh, journal if you have or a digital Bible. Um, I'm going to figure out where to put my free one, my free Bible. I know some of you have been trying to figure out where that is. I did put it in the Facebook group. Obviously not everyone has access to the Facebook group due to uh, certain things that are in place to keep it for specific types of people. It is niched down so I want to figure out where to put that free Bible so just be on the lookout for that 
Um, and then, of course, like I said, more decorative pieces are in here as well, where they're just kind of scenes, like you have this house here with a nice cluster of the sky behind it. Maybe this is a rainy day at the beach, you know, whatever the case may be. These elements are just really stunning and just super cute. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Like this here is a book. I put the little um, paper clip. You have the stack of washi tape. So this would be a great planning day sticker or journaling sticker. Um, just play with it. Have fun with it. It's really very pretty and the colors work very nicely together. So it'll be fun. Now we got some functional pieces here. These will pull from more of the sunset pictures and the green. And so these are some really cute button style icons and you also have some button style widgets. They're 3D and they almost look kind of plasticky, which I kind of like. I know that's not a word, <laughs> but I like it. So they're very cute for memos, lists, to-dos. If you want to build a view, say in your bullet journal, this would be a great uh, set to have because you can really create your own view and make it cohesive since you have the pinks, you can go with that, or you can go with the greens, or you can mix them and do both. So it's very fun. Lots and lots of memos here um, for you to use and just different styles to play around with. Now we have our 2D flat style functional stickers. And so you've got some trackers up here, whether you wanna color it in or whether you would prefer to just scratch like me, then you have both options. You've got some workout widgets. I personally did this on, on purpose to put workouts on my calendar because I need to get my life together. Another thing that will be coming will be a fitness planner. I am trying my best to like slowly drop each one. I, I know one of my ladies I was speaking to was a little disappointed to find out that the new style of planner won't come out until 2024, but I want us to use our, our planners we, we already have from 2023, but I am working very hard to master this style, so when I do drop the 2024 planner, it will be well worth the wait, but I think we're good with the planners we have right now. I would think it would be pointless for me to put one in the shop at this moment. Okay, and so we got some labels, some trackers, and stuff like that. And then we have these beautiful picture frames down here of just the beach and some inspirational words. The Bible is our compass. Jesus loves you. Faith, blessed, and thankful. Well, it doesn't say and, but thankful. I can't help myself but to add that and in there when I have a series. Now we have some verses that were hand selected. These verses all include something about the sea or the ocean. And so very nice verses. And you also have some clusters where you can pop those on top or you can just use them as a separate piece if you want to, but they were, uh, I did do this in the mindset that you would mix and match the verses with different clusters if that was something you were into. But yes, very nice, very pretty. And the dashboard kit. This, I am i can't believe I'm saying this. So C patterns are actually not my favorite. So this box was really challenging for me because it was stepping way out of my comfort zone. As you guys can imagine and probably assume by now, my comfort zone is floral patterns. That's where I'm happiest. That's where I really have fun with my creation. When I got this pattern, I knew that I was going to basically have a hard time with it, but it was too late because I already purchased it. I had to bite the bullet and deal with what I bought. <laughs> and I say all of that to say that this is my favorite dashboard kit I have ever created, hands down. Because when you when you actually put it together, it is so stunning. So I did add some skinnier pieces. So when you stretch this out, this will fit perfectly over your side pocket. So these skinnier pieces are for those side panels. These chunkier pieces are if you want to create your own pocket in free form. And then we have our little half pockets down here some rip paper binder clips and some um, paper clips down here and you swipe the rest of your dashboard kit is on the other page so you have your stacked papers here that you can use if you're not into doing any stacking but you like the pockets these are perfect for you because they're already done for you you've got some beautiful designs on paper you can use these for scrapbooking views journaling views your pockets whatever you want and then of course some skinnier Polaroids to fit inside of your pocket representing the month of June because the other pictures already have the beach going on so I didn't want to like over beat you up. That sounds crazy. <laughs> over beat you up, I'm done. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so corny and just terrible. Um, so next we're gonna go ahead and look at the pocket planner and we're going to just export it as a new note. Boop. 
Oh no. Okay, there we go. So this is the Pocket Daily and it is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. I love this little starfish. This starfish is probably one of my favorite elements in the batch. And look, it's because there's a flower on it. I can't get away from flowers, I can't. I don't know what it is, but they draw me in even when I don't intend to do so. It just happens. So you have your same layout going on. We're just gonna swipe. Gorgeous patterns, still the same convenience that I love about a good pocket planner. And yes, I'm still using mine. I just haven't gotten around to showing you guys so much because I've really been working, but I love a good pocket planner. These are just simple. It doesn't require a whole lot of work at all, which to me is convenient on certain days when you just don't, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely beautiful patterns very simple design and easy to use. You cannot complain about this. It fits perfectly on the phone screen. You don't need a stylus to use these. Just really nice. Overall, a very good design. Now let's see what's next in here. I think we can move into our horizontal view now. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and look at our June and we're gonna export this but I'm gonna put it into an existing note because I need to. Okay, we're back, I'm sorry. I had to figure out where the heck it was. But anywho, so this month's view are just some very simple columns with a split off label at the bottom for you to put either notes, prayer, your days of the week. It's very open and spacious at the top for you to do and use a lot of elements. I thought about the stickers this month and I know that you need space more than anything. Okay, sneeze attack. Anywho, um, I knew you guys would need space more than anything. So we have down here at the bottom, some sections that are a little bit more labeled off. You have prayers, currently reading, thankful for, and then three columns that you can decide what they are. You can also wipe those other ones out and do them however you want and you also have some sides. I'm so sorry, my allergies always wanna cut the fool when I have to film, it's kind of crazy. But anyways, the side column piece over here is what I was trying to say you have room for. So it's, it's very spacious and plenty of room basically to play around with. I know it's kind of difficult to see on camera, but in person you'll see. It's mainly very thin lines for you to have room. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next thing. if I can click it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add this to a new note. And this is our vacation journal for this month. And it doesn't have to be a vacation journal. This could totally be like um, a scrapbooking journal. This could be a mini bullet journal just to test it out and see if you like bullet journaling. But this is ideally a memory keeper for pictures and memories that you've had through a vacation or just through the summer, a week, whatever you want. So you'll tap the cover. And it has some pictures over here on the side. It says your vacation is calling, time to take a break, accept or decline, we'll decline or accept. And then it says, keep all of your precious vacation memories in here. And so the tabs will take you through the pages. So this first one here is for, excuse me, is for this page. And then the, you just go from side to side. So you have this picture here and you can put your pictures over here and you can write over here. It's, it's so pretty in person, I can't. You also have, I did different picture variations on the side where you can put your Polaroids and things like that and then just kind of right over here or you can really just put pictures all over this. It really doesn't matter. You can do what you want to do um, with this setup. It's completely open to interpretation basically, but I love, I love the way this came out. Look at how cute. I can't. It looks like kind of like a magazine a little bit. And it kind of reminds me of being in Michael's and finding those scrapbooking journals they used to sell. I don't know if they still sell them, but I used to have some and I loved it. I mean, how cute, how cute is it? How cute, I cannot. This journal will be so precious to just keep memories in. And to close it, you'll just hit the top rings and it'll take you back to your cover. So yes, I absolutely love this vacation journal. I think it's a cute little piece and touch to this kit and I feel like it fits very nicely inside of it. The next thing we're gonna be looking at is our June memory verse cards. I personally have been, in, I'm sure there has been someone detected at my front door. Hold on you guys, let me check to make sure it's not my husband. 
Okay, I'm sorry about that. Our memory verse cards. Um, I actually really enjoyed the last ones and I want to continue using them because we have a little section in the faith notebook that coincides with this. And so I thought, let me do some beachy ones. Let me do some beach themed memory cards. How stinking cute are these? And now keep in mind, these can be used for multiple things. It doesn't have to just be memory versing. So I personally want to try Bible mapping, uh, verse mapping or whatever it's called. I think this would be a good layout for that um, because you have room, like you have room to kind of like add some label stickers and kind of play around with it. I'm all, you do, 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 do. let me stop. Anyways, so <laughs> you have the different styles here. You can study if you're a student, these would be a great way to do like flashcards digitally because they literally are index cards on a flat surface and they come in different styles. So you could theme these off by um, category or whatever the case may be but they're just so pretty. They're so pretty. I cannot like, seriously. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. Anything that helps study memory or just having something that you can jot stuff down on. And these as a widget, I mean, come on, super cute, super, super cute. You could even do your devotional as a widget on these and just maybe use the front one or whatever the case may be as a widget on Samsung notes so it just floats really cute on your wallpaper. I cannot, it would be so pretty. I think that was the last, hold on, I didn't even check, but I think that was the last, yeah, that was the last one. <clears throat> now is the Mary Magdalene profile. So I think I already have it in here, so let me not bring it back in here if I already have it. Um, yes, here it is. So like I said, this month's box is themed around Mary Magdalene. And so the way that I wanted to theme each box doing it, I didn't want to have like her everywhere. You still need to be able to plan with this and use it. And we're not idolizing her. We're learning about her. And so I just did a PDF file off to the side that you can study and learn more about her and, you know, just get an idea of what she might have looked like, where she was from and where, you know, just all those things. So you'll click on the cover and you will have information in here as well as some questions that you can answer in accordance to scripture. So if you are new to studying the word or you've never done a profile on someone that's in scripture, this is a great way to learn how to do that. You will click the little bow at the top to make your way through this entire thing. There's also references in here so you can see where I'm pulling this information from. So you know I'm not pulling it out of my behind. It's actual information. It's available for you to study. You also have this last section here. And then these are the resources as well as notes if there's anything else that you gain from these resources that you wanted to add in here. So it's a great way to actually study about a person without idolizing a person. And so I really love this. I didn't want to share exactly what was in here because this is going to be special to those who have this box to be able to take it and learn that information for the first time, not hear it from me here, but it's very good. It's very, very, very good. And I learned something while making this. I learned a few things actually <laughs> while making this notebook. So it was really fun to do and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, now we're going to go ahead and look at the covers and the desk. Um, I have a check mark. Okay, there we go. And so with this, I am going to start here and I'm going to spread it out. These will be at random, but I'm going to organize them. So don't, don't you fret. So obviously you're looking at this. This is the desk view for the month you get. Um, and I put the other things on it so it was a cohesive thing so that it wouldn't be like a bunch of different things. So you can feel like you're sitting at the same desk. <laughs> with whatever you're using. I know that's so extra, but if you don't know me by now, I mean, come on. And then we have these lovely covers here. So I'm sticking to this style for right now um, and the other style as well. When I do the new planners, if you've seen any of the new stuff that I've dropped, then you have an idea of the direction I'm going in for the new planners. So this will be, when we do the boxes as the new planners come out, it'll be completely different. But as of right now, these are just perfectly fine. They are so cute and very easy to use as stickers or covers, which is very nice because they're not super large files. Different variations, different color clusters, and honestly, I had a hard time choosing which one I wanted to use, which was so weird to me 
because I'm not, like I said, this kind of style, if you've noticed, if you've been with me since day one, I have never done anything beachy. I've never done a beach theme. I've never done a uh, ocean kit or anything like that. You don't see any fish in my shop, shells. So this is a new, this is new territory for me. I literally, I cannot, but I love it. It is so pretty. I definitely will explore it more often and not shy away from it because it is really nice. These are for the vertical planners, so if you have the um, flex planner and you got that second vertical one, then these covers are for you. And then these are the regular ones for the desks, in case you don't want to use the 2D one. Some more of those ones. You have a lot of options. And then this is another rounded edge one, and I think that's the last one, yes. So let me shrink that back down so I don't accidentally show you guys anything and then have to go in and edit it because that is always annoying. Um, let's see here, where are we? Ah, wallpapers. Oh, see, I know we're missing something. Now it's time for our wallpapers. So I think I can, spread these out yeah okay so this is for the desktop this is your desktop wallpaper it has a little extra on it because on your desktop I would imagine that you don't have a lot of widgets going on if you do then you can just use the other one but this one has like a little bit of a boarded fill the pictures are a little bit bigger and of course you have your mini month over here so you have you know visual of that and you know it's just it's super cute like I love the white up against this blue it's just doing the thing for me um, this is a vertical and I believe this is for the Samsung. I have them labeled off so don't worry you'll be able to know which device it's for and which orientation it is for based on the labels that are inside of the thing. Now if you have an iPad then the desktop horizontal is for you without the stuff on it or with it because it will fit your screen. It's the Samsung one that I had to change the aspect ratio for because it's skinnier. Um, it's longer, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, the sizing is what's different. Here's the iPad uh, portrait. Oops. Oh my goodness. Can I swipe? Nope. And there goes my husband trying to call me. Oh my goodness. Okay, and here's the, <laughs> here's the Samsung vertical. So, all of that to say, those are all of the goodies that you will be getting inside of your June box and I absolutely love it. I feel like this month's box is very soft, almost the complete opposite of last month's box where everything was very aggressively bright and colorful and sunny and just kind of that last ode to spring, if you will. But this is bringing in summer really nice and soft and cool and warm and all the things that summer represents, I think, in my opinion. But I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. Sorry for all of the chaos. Oh my goodness. Look, the one time we have less of a dark video is the one time where I'm sneezing, freaking maintenance comes by, my husband's calling me, Alexa's interrupting me. Like, it's just all over the place. But that's okay. I enjoyed this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I cannot wait to set up my planner and do my digital plan with me. I'm going to be doing a digital plan with me inside of my homemaker's uh, handbook, inside of my, I already did my budget planner, um, inside of my faith planner. I've been waiting to do my June inside of those because I wanted to use these stickers. Of course I wanted to film it, but I didn't want to give away anything. So now I'm actually free to do that. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoy it. Do not forget to check your payment date because that's the day you're getting your box. Just want to say that. And one more thing, because I also get this question a lot. Yes, this will work on an iPad. You do get good notes files. Okay, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. I hope that you enjoyed this and happy birthday to all my June babies. I know you guys are in there in the group real heavy. I hope that this is a good birthday gift. I hope it lived up to your expectations and I will see you all next time. Bye.